have no words to explain the situation and we're just desperate. Desperate and hoping for help, anything that can let a family have some closure. Tonight, WOWT6 News is learning that the bodies of two Omaha murder victims never made it to their intended destination. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Gill. And I'm Matthew Smith. The family of Jesus Ismenia Marinero and her son Josue reached out to me tonight. They hoped to bury their family on the 11th. Now, eight days later, their bodies have not made it their destination. In fact, They've yet to be put on a plane. My family is desperate. They want their mother and brother here. The last time we saw the bodies of Ismenia and Josue, they were inside a church. Tears were shed and people touched the caskets. A way to say goodbye before the bodies were sent to El Salvador. They never made it, though. It's been nearly 10 days since the family had hoped to receive their loved ones. It's just painful, heartbreaking. By phone, Veronica Rosa, Ismenia's niece, tells me the family's taking it hard. I have one of them here next to me right now. She's just crying, you know. Now, I've been going over this process, and legally, I got to tell you, there is a lot of red tape. And many of you likely remember the murders actually happened in early May. But when you're dealing with a murder investigation, a death certificate is not easy to come by. It's a process to get. And in this case, uh, there was an error on the death certificate. Then you're also dealing with the issue of moving a body out of the country. There's even more paperwork for that. And when there was an issue with that death certificate, both sets of paperwork had to be redone. Now that all of Ismania and Josue's paperwork is squared away, there's a new problem. Any flight that makes it from Omaha to El Salvador can only be booked if it's three days out. So we're asking for the help for any airline that can please help us, whatever flight to El Salvador and help us. I talked to Good Shepherd Funeral Home. They're trying to sort through all these issues. They're telling me tonight there's so much red tape that three days, it's meant to book a ticket. That means if they try to do that on Sunday, they wouldn't be able to fly the bodies until Wednesday. That's if they're first in line and they have room. Passengers and cargoes you see get priority. And here's the other thing. Six-year-old host Sway will have to be shipped separately because the casket is large and only one set of remains is allowed in each flight. The family is hoping someone with the airline hears this story and finds a way to help them speed up the process.